What's up guys, JB2017 here, and this is my weekly vlog. And before we get into it, I want to apologize real quick for not having a vlog last weekend. It's supposed to be a weekly thing, I just didn't have my apartment ready, and it's still not ready to show off, so you should expect that in the next few weekends. And also, I want to apologize because I might be reading off of something, it might be seem like I'm reading off of a script. I've recorded this thing about 10 or 15 times, and English apparently is not my first language today. It's very hard to speak for me, so uh, bear with me on that. But anyways... I'm making this vlog today uh, because this is about the future of my channel. It's super important and I need your help. If you're watching this video, you're most likely one of my most loyal viewers because you're you know, watching this for me and not for the game I'm playing necessarily. So for example, you're not the kind of person that's gonna hop on a No Man's Sky video and say, stop making this, you're a Fallout 4 channel. That's just rude, that's inconsiderate. And you guys watching this video, most likely, unless you clicked on this, you know, uh, accidentally are watching this because you know you're loyal to me and I appreciate that and so this video is about preparing for the future and preparing for the post Fallout 4 era of my channel now don't be alarmed don't be alarmed this doesn't mean that there's no more Fallout 4 on the channel past Nuka World of course I'm gonna hit Nuka World really hard there's gonna be a ton of videos um, but I am planning for the channel um, some Fallout 4 content past Nuka World and also into the future that's what this video is all about um, but what I mean, what I mean by post Fallout 4 era is the point at which we have no more Fallout 4 to look forward to. There's no more DLC, and that sucks because we've been doing this for the past 10 to 11 months. But it's a reality. It's something that we have to deal with, and eventually, some people will move on from the channel and go watch other stuff that's maybe Fallout related because they just want to watch Fallout. And some people will move on from Fallout. So will I, you know, for example. However, there will still be Fallout on the channel. Again, I'm planning for that, but things change. We, you know, we move on. So. From seeing what I've seen from Nuka World, there's at least 30 days worth of content I can share here on the channel with Fallout 4 and that DLC. So that's, you know, the stream of me playing through it right around when it comes out and a ton of tips and tricks content. There's a ton of really exciting new stuff to share in, you know, the DLC for Fallout 4. And so for me, the post Fallout 4 era begins when there's no more content to look forward to for Fallout 4, which would be August 30th, you know, 10 days from now when Nuka World comes out. Um, but I will have the same daily schedule that I've had for the past 10 to 11 months with Fallout 4 content until at least October 1st. That's my promise to you guys. It will stay the exact same as it has been all this time until October 1st, until at least October 1st. Because, of course, I'm going to share as much as I possibly can with Fallout 4 and Nuka World. Again, I love the game. I wouldn't have spent so much time on it if I hadn't. And so that will stay a main focus at least until October 1st. But as a content creator... There's no more Fallout 4 to look forward to, and I need to prepare for that. So there's two options that I have in my head um, for moving forward, and these are routes that other channels have taken or routes that I can see myself finding success in. And so there's these two divergent paths that are completely different that I'm going to share with you guys that I could take, but I want to make some stuff completely clear first. With both options, I will maintain the one video per day schedule that I've had ever since Fallout 4 has come out. Again, with Fallout 4 and the Nuka World stuff until, you know, at least October 1st. And after that, I will have one video per day, no matter what. So basically, this means that nothing changes here on the channel, you know, except more variety after, you know, October 1st, but um, more content. Nothing changes but more content. I'm literally just making more stuff. I'm putting out more content on top of the usual stuff. And that's because I'll have more time this fall. So there will be more variety. I'll constantly be, excuse me, constantly be playing all kinds of games, multiplayer games, single player games, new games. I might return to some old games as well. All kinds of stuff. I want to share more games with you because I don't just play Fallout 4. I'm not just a one trick pony. I don't want to be known as that. I love a lot of games and I want to share those experiences with you guys more. So with both options, that's kind of the idea moving forward and into 2017. So let's talk about those both options. Fine those both options. Again, I can't speak English. Let's talk about both of those options finally. So first, option number one is a streaming format. So with option number one, I would stream five days per week for two to three hours at a time. So maybe even longer. So that would be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's the schedule I have in my head right now for five days of streaming. And I would be streaming on Twitch. And some of you may be confused by that because in the past I've said, I've asked you guys and a lot of you have said, you know, keep streaming here on YouTube. I wanted to move around playthroughs and all that, but let me explain. I don't want to stream on YouTube because there's a few reasons. First off, 
I don't want to flood my channel with streams. And every time you stream, it uploads a recorded version to the channel and that just accrues views just like a normal video would. So I don't want my streams to conflict with my uploads. That's the big thing. So for example, if I upload a video at 3 p.m. like I do every day, I wake up at 10 a.m., I work for four and a half hours straight through lunch, and then I upload a video at 3 p.m. That's my normal routine. And if I want to stream at 5 p.m., for example, that would conflict with that 3 p.m. upload because the 5 p.m. stream would be the newest piece of content you see on the channel. And so I want to be more flexible with that schedule and stream maybe, you know, a little bit earlier, a little bit later and not have it conflict with my uploads here on the main channel. And so having streams elsewhere on Twitch, for example, definitely helps with that. But I do want you to know that streaming won't be exclusive to Twitch. I will save special streams that are Bethesda related, Fallout related, stuff like that for YouTube because that's where you guys are. You guys are here. Um, and also I have an idea for keeping streams, maybe for some games, I haven't exactly decided for this, but doing a lot of part one streams when I start playing through a new game, for example, on Twitch, I'll put part one and stream part one here on YouTube first. And so I'm letting you guys know exactly what the game I'm playing is, what the experience is like, what it's like to watch me here on YouTube. So the part one stream would be on YouTube and that would be designed to direct people over to Twitch to watch the rest of that playthrough watch JV play through the rest of The Witcher, for example, which is something I'm seriously considering streaming and testing out this format with. So the thing is with the streaming option number one, I will have to advertise Twitch here on YouTube in my normal YouTube you know, main channel content to drive people over to those streams because there's no other way. It's really hard to just build an audience out of nothing over on Twitch. However, there have been other channels that have been able to balance both. And that's kind of what I'm going for with option number one. And some of you may be wondering, well, JV, what if I miss a stream on Twitch? That sucks. You know, Twitch is, you know, video player. I don't want to mess with that. I like YouTube better. All of those concerns. And I totally hear that. I totally understand where you're coming from. However, I have a solution. I can upload those entire Twitch streams to JV 2017 Plays, which is my second channel that I started and then stopped because I wasn't really feeling, you know, good about where it was going. So I can upload entire streams to JV 2017 Plays, my second channel, so you can watch them if you miss them. And so, for example, let's say I'm playing through The Witcher 3. That's the game I want to play through. And I uh, stream part one here on YouTube. I direct you guys over to Twitch. I stream uh, part two on Twitch. Let's say you miss part two, but you caught part one uh, for whatever reason. I'm going to upload part two to JV 2017 Plays so you can watch it. So that's kind of the idea there. That'll be a place where you guys can watch replays of my streams if you miss them. So that's option number one. Option number two is a news slash commentary format style um, on my channel. So once again, we'll maintain the same one you know video on the day or one video per day on the main channel, just like normal. However, I'll have an additional video at least every other day, maybe every day for a week. It might fluctuate. It depends on the news, but basically that additional video is going to be reporting on something that I care about, you know, some kind of news about video games like you would see on IGN or Game Informer, something that I'm interested in, but with my own take, you know, for example, there's a ton of stuff coming out of Gamescom right now, uh, namely Prey. I think I'm going to make a video about Prey tomorrow, actually, on my channel. But there's a really cool trailer. It looks like a mix of Bioshock and Dead Space. I just want to share, you know, kind of my ideas and thoughts with you guys on what I'm seeing in, you know, news games media, that kind of thing. So new trailers, stuff out of events like Gamescom, PAX, E3, stuff like that. Uh, another example would be, you know, any kind of update on No Man's Sky. It's still a game that I'm monitoring. I've stopped playing it because I'm stuck in the game and that sucks. But once they add base building in No Man's Sky, I'll make a video on it. You know, in terms of Destiny, if there's new stuff for Destiny, I'll make a video on it. So that would be the kind of news commentary format, just additional videos on something you hear. If you hear it within 24 hours of another news outlet and I'm interested in it, I'll share it on the channel. It's kind of like that. And so it'll keep you guys updated and it'll be that kind of thing. It'll be a newsy type format. And the other idea for this is that I have a lot of opinions and most of the time I share them on Twitter, but that's kind of a waste because I could have made a video on that, turn that into some kind of video format, share it with you guys, have a nice structured conversation on YouTube. That's sarcastic, but I like to, you know, ask you guys questions at the end of every single video because I want to have a conversation with you all in the comments and I want to spark a conversation between you guys, you know, two random people you've never even met before. So anyways, that's kind of where I would go with that. Once again, it would be at least an extra three to four videos every single week here on the main channel and they might get less views per video. I'm totally kind of prepared for that. 
but it's more content. I've got more time, so I'm spending that time making more content. No matter what, that can build up over time. I'm not really worried about that at first. And so we've also got potential with the news commentary format of uh, you know having some kind of established series here on the channel, like a weekly news show where I could even show myself on camera. So kind of like something you would see on IG Daily or Old School Machinima with you know Adam Kovic and whatnot. You know more stuff like that. I'd have I have a ton of space here to film some more stuff. I could be like over here and then there could be like a trailer right here and I'm talking to you about the trailer, stuff like that. I could absolutely, um, you know, make some kind of established weekly news show formats like that. Um, or maybe I could make an opinion based long form commentary series, maybe something like Total Biscuit does, who I am a huge fan of and I completely envy. I love everything that he does, um, you know, about something that I care about, you know, a long form commentary series like that. So anyways, this is definitely more of a newsy kind of commentary type direction for the channel just more content and it's all on the main channel. It's not being split between Twitch or JB2017 plays or anything like that. So anyway, anyways, guys, once again, option one is streaming. I've explained that kind of split between Twitch and YouTube, not split exactly, but mostly Twitch. You guys get the point. Option number one, streaming. Option number two, news type commentary format. So please, in the comment section below, let me know which one you would be more comfortable with, which one you would enjoy more, and which one you think I should go um, in the direction. Because I really do value your opinion. Once again, you guys are some of my most loyal viewers. You wouldn't be watching a vlog from me if you didn't care. So I really appreciate that. And also, Patreon. Um, I always, I, I promise this, I have a Patreon level. Uh, once again, I do have a Patreon link in the description below if you want to donate to me. And if you have extra money, please don't feel obligated to do it. I don't need it to eat or anything like that. But um, we have a tier at $5 or more. If you donate $5 or more, you get a shout out in every single weekly vlog. So this week's shout out for our Patreon patrons. Big thanks to Phil, Jason, and Stacy for supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. And please know that everything that you donate is putting ba being put back into the channel in the form of upgrading things or spending more time on videos and doing things like getting a new mic. This is a new mic, same one that Total Biscuit uses and also a bunch of really popular podcasters out there. It's a really great mic. And you know, that Patreon money went towards this. So really appreciate your support and generosity. Once again, that will be poured back into the channel. So please let me know, option one or two, what do you think, streaming or news type commentary format? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching this, um, expect fallout kind of stuff in the next week a little bit more variety because we're right before nuka world there's not much more i can talk about there is however a bethesda twitch stream that i will be covering on nuka world they'll show off nuka world for about an hour that i will be covering on the channel i think that's on tuesday and so anyways we're all preparing for nuka world really excited for it really excited for the future of my channel as well so anyways guys once again hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you next time peace